This model is for sale and I've got a brand new face for this floor plan. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Joe with Orlando Home Fighters and today I'm in Lori Park, Lake Nona. This is a beautiful model home that is for sale. And also, you can build this in the next phase. So if you want to see this, give me and my team a call at 407-484-8458 or email us at orlandohomefighters at gmail.com. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell for instant notifications. Like this video and comment below. So this house is for sale. What you see is a lot. So this is a perfect example of investment properties because it has the garage apartment. So you could have dual rental income properties right here. So the main property here in the front, 2,400 square feet just around. And then you have four bedrooms, three full baths, and it has the reload two car, two car garage standard. This house, as you see it, has that second floor garage apartment over a three car garage that is an incredible thing so you can rent out the front and then you can rent out the back so that's what you basically have with this this model again when you purchase a model home it's going to be a lot more than if you had to build it from scratch because it has all the upgrades galore the design elements everything included in that price when you purchase it so this one is available if you want to see it again give me a call upgrades galore plus the garage apartment plus being right in the middle of Lake Nona, down the street from the amenity center, and then down the street from the town center. So this is really Lake Nona at its finest. Again, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell for instant notifications. Like this, comment below. Hey guys, I have a lot of buyers from out of state. If you don't mind telling me where you guys are, are from, I would love to hear where you guys are from. Comment definitely below. Hey guys, for now, enjoy the tour. Okay, exterior elevation, very unique with these colors, but it works here in Loya Park for sure. Four columns, well, it looks like four, but it's three columns. Covered front porch. This is a front porch neighborhood where you wave hi to everybody. Sit here, say hi to all your neighbors. Eight foot glass door. Open concept at its finest. So this is your foyer. Everything in one view as soon as you step in. So this might be a quick tour, it might not be. So let's really, get into it right here. So let me turn around, right here in front of home. This is your formal dining kitchen nook. Realistically, it's your formal dining. You have those windows, four oversized windows, letting in that natural light. Overcast day and it still has a lot of natural light coming in. You have your eight foot glass door, letting in the natural light. Let's turn around. I'm gonna do, kitchen after this because one thing that a lot of people don't realize is your furniture will define that space because when you come into here and it's empty you really don't feel that it's a big space but look at this you have a full-size sofa a love seat over here double table and then the two chairs then look at that TV, it's like dwarfed in this room. Two large windows in the front, two large windows on the side, giving in that natural light. So you have the wood trim on the wall. The paint scheme and the color scheme is so natural. It has this beautiful earth tones, very clean, bright and airy. So let's talk about what's going on here. You have this 12 by 24 inch tiles in a 70-30 pattern. 
really elegant looking 10 foot ceiling. So you really have that ceiling height here. Right away you can see you have your recessed lights. This has the speakers and then your gourmet kitchen. So this is an upgraded gourmet kitchen. This island, look at that. Four large chairs. You can definitely put five stools in there. You have the waterfall island. And then something that you really don't see every day. Check that out. Pop up electricity. Okay, so this is again upgraded gourmet kitchen. You have your espresso cabinets with the crown molding. This has the undermount lights, industrial range hood. This is the glass glass four burner cooktop really love that backsplash very clean very very clean a couple of things that you're going to notice you have your hot drawers underneath very very useful this is the view so Realistically, once you're in the kitchen, you have access to everybody in the space, right? So it's true open concept, but it's defined with that little space in the front for that kitchen nook. Oversized cast iron farmer sink, faucet, and those beautiful pendant lights really love those women lights. I'm wanting them, but I can't afford them. <laughs> I really want those, I'll tell you. They look so good. All right, so then you have your gourmet structure again. It has the microwave and the oven on the wall. View from the very corner here. This feels like you're wrapped with windows. Windows everywhere. This is an amazing floor plan. My friend owns, two of my friends own this. And I'm actually thinking about purchasing one. So, for investment, of course, that is your pantry, wire shelves, I know now. So right away, you'll see it has the rails and then the hardwood floors. Let's go through the space in a different way. Let's start all the way in the back. And this is very unique. So this is kind of your pocket overs, pocket office, but this is an oversized pocket office. Standard, this would be the laundry room, okay? Laundry room over here. So instead of the laundry room being over there, you switch it over over here. So that was a structural option to do. Typically, this would be your office, okay? here wine room in the closet so additional storage underneath the stairs so when you have two stories oh look at that extra extra you like extra storage so this is a huge storage space another thing you're gonna see is you have these eight foot doors 10 foot ceiling dwarf these doors that's kind of crazy really makes it look small Another closet here. Not sure if I did that right, but let's go to this. This is extremely helpful for a lot of people that have relatives that can't climb stairs. So you have your shower upgrade. It's typically a tub. These are your brown quartz, shaker style white cabinets. Again, the floor tile flowing through here. So this is an upgrade because you 
standard would be a shower tub. Then this has the step down shower. Look at this polished large format tile with the quad Listello strips. It's kind of chocolate glass all the way to the ceiling. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. This is a great idea. So, shelf, right? And then the pegs are in the ground. So that's something that you could do after, guys. Just letting you know, you know? Because standard, I think that's about $150. And then if you do a shampoo niche, it's like $400. So that'll save you some money. But this house, as you see it, all these upgrades are included. Not the furniture. Linen closet here. And then you have your bedroom. One bedroom downstairs for your guest. Or your older kids. Or your relatives. Or your parents. So this is very useful. This has the luxury carpet. You come to the other side over here. Two windows on the corner. 10 foot ceilings. This has the recessed lights and the, that nice light fixture standard closet in here. But very nice, very nicely done. Any foot doors make a huge difference. All right, so I'm gonna do the backyard after we do this main house. So again, we have the handrail. So if you're gonna build this from scratch, you would pay extra from that. This is your hardwood stairs, oak stairs with your white risers. Feature wall behind us with the trim and wallpaper. Let me turn around. Let you see that. So it's a feature wall with the trim. Very simple but it really looks so featured with that wallpaper. Love it. All right, hardwood stairs here at the landing. You have luxury carpet. And then this is your shared bath for the two bedrooms. I've always loved this tile. This is one of my, this is a really cool tile. Large format all the way from the ceiling down so now you can see the tray the soap tray is actually grouted in there the other one was kind of laying over and this is a shower tub so you can see the downstairs was upgraded this has the this looks like cultured marble could be quartz two centimeter cultured marble quartz and it has your classic Standard overlay light gray, but this is very cool. 24 by 24 large format, kind of a linen tile. All right, so this is nice. This is a nice wide hallway. Let's start with the rooms first. So this is the room in the front. Love the interior design. My kid would love this. I love this actually. With the leopard curtains, wallpaper with this mauve and gold. You got a chandelier. That's what stands out, man. Then you have the trim work on the top of the ceiling. Standard closet. Let's back it up. So you have two large windows in the front and then another side window. These are oversized windows for sure. Letting in a lot of natural light. These are standard doors, center height. And then this is the other room. Good size room, you have a single window. Let's come over here, standard closet. the accent trim it's 
second floor primary suite. There you have it. So to tell you the truth, this is not a very large primary, but it's a good size. You can see you have a king size bed, two oversized side tables, and you have room for your drawer in the front there, your This is your primary closet. It's actually a really good size. And then come behind here. Is that you have the trim work for this door? Those little extra things, crown moldings your primary bath okay so in here you can see very open between the shower and your vanity double vanity very upgraded with this high-end quartz rectangle undermount sinks brush fixtures, this has the espresso cabinets, or like a cocoa if you want to call it, and it has the side to side large format tile. Fully upgraded shower, this has the frameless shower. I like what they did here, so they did the vertical large format polished tile. And then this mosaic vertical glass tile. It's a mixture of glass and stone. Glass and tile. Has the shelf again. Rain head shower. And the tile is going all the way to the ceiling. Looks really great. All right, so this is going to be a long video because we are headed to the uh, music. <laughs> so let's head over to the investment property. So if you wanted to rent this front or live in the front and rent out the back, it could pay for you know half of your mortgage. Realistically, you could rent it out anywhere from 14 to 1700 in this community that one bedrooms go for at this time so one thing about Lori Park is sometimes you don't get this yard space right so this has your covered walk coming from the garage so depending on the distance you would have to pay a certain amount I think it's like 4,000 per three feet or 4,000 per five feet, something like that, but you have to be a minimum distance to have that. This is your covered. So sometimes you won't have this covered. Um, sometimes it's mandatory, sometimes it's not. But this is, this has the garage. So realistically, you would get, garage apartment, you'd get more yard space if this was, uh, not the garage it would be a two-car garage or a three-car garage upgrade but this is the thing right here your investment property okay right away you can see it has your hardwood stairs upgrade hardwood stairs are expensive just plain plain and simple it's very expensive to do hardwood handrails Check out this space. Boom. Open concept apartment, one bedroom apartment. So right away you see your upgraded rails right there. Has the modern brushed horizontal rails, with the espresso stain. Engineered hardwood floors up here. We 
before I go into that space over there. Closet. So, again, you could use this in different ways. Additional space, rental, but you could see this is perfect. You don't have, when you have renters or you have this as your apartment, I even know people that rent this out, rent their front home out and live in this part. You know, that's all they need. Basically living for free. All right, this is your, this is your family room. And you have your windows. There's your kitchen. Of course, you're gonna have And this is your kitchen. So this is an upgraded kitchen for here because this has the quartz countertop. This is the chocolate quartz. And you have your classic white cabinets with the brushed handles. Standard overlay because you can open it up with your hands. You don't really need the handles. This has the standard kitchen. So some homes will even live in this home. Standard microwave range. Then your 42 inch cabinets, of course, will be an upgrade. This has the backsplash, refrigerator, pantry right over here, eight foot doors, pantry. This is cool. This is your upgraded bath. Two centimeter quartz, oval undermount sink. You have the modern espresso, the modern brushed handles, 12 by 12 towels. Looks nice. Another 12 by 12. It fits really nice in this room. Corner shower here. Fully upgraded. Polished pattern tiles all the way to the ceiling. 10 foot, 10 foot in here. 10 foot ceilings in the garage apartment. That's freaking awesome. All right. So this is a thing. This is when you have the apartments, you pay extra to have your washer and dryer closet. So this is a stackable. And that's what's needed for these to realistically work better to have that because most apartments have those now here look at this so this is the one and only bedroom for this but look at how the space is full-size bed counter uh, side tables Two large windows letting in this natural light. Trim work in here. Yeah, see those little things standing on the wall? Let's open the light for the walk in closet. Perfect size, not too huge, not too small. Hey guys, what do you think about this tour? Amazing home, opportunity for investment properties. And also you can build this in the next phase. So if you want to see this, give me and my team a call at 407-484-8458 or email us at orlandohomefinders at gmail.com. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell for instant notifications. Like this video and comment below. Hey guys, so a little bit about this house. Two properties here, realistically. You have your front home and it's just under 2,400 square feet, four bedrooms, three baths. Uh, two stories, master is up. Uh, then you have your three car oversized garage, and then you have the garage apartment, one bedroom garage apartment, 700 plus square feet in that, and you can rent that. You can rent the front, and then you can rent that rear out. So that's an amazing thing. If you wanna see this again, give me and my team a call. Looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you guys so much for joining me on the tour today, and every time you join me, I really, truly appreciate that. Have an amazing day. I'll see you around the neighborhood.